Alrighty, hello again. Wow, another episode with me, Big Z. <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, another episode. Uh, we are continuing on our He-Man adventures. Oh, well, He-Man he he got obliterated, so we're seeing where the Masters of the Universe will resume the journey and who will. Um, I think last episode, I thought it was a bit... I mean, this show... It's an animated series intended for children. Um, I did say that, but in saying that, someone did get stabbed and we did see blood. So, you know, who knows? But <laughs> I don't know, just some of the, I don't know, the slapstick humor, if that's what it's called when you laugh at people getting hurt, um, or like just simplistic humor like that, some of the jokes, the puns. Um, there was a lot of that in this, um, but I will say, the episode did get pretty pretty deep as it went um, went along so it'll be interesting to see how this um, goes along as we watch the episodes uh, and again yes I am up to episode 2 can you see where this takes us uh, and yeah I think we just jump right into it eh? G'day so episode 2 what it do red now Wait, I think, yeah, what am I talking about? What? Okay, yeah, so the vibe... Very retro. I love it. And again, it, could you imagine watching this as a kid and just instantly wanting all the action figures and the sets? It'd, it, it'd be crazy. Oh, producer Kevin Smith. Another thing I read up on this was that Kevin Smith was one of the writers for this show. Or, oh well, producer. Wait, I'm confused. Anyways, he was involved. He wasn't. He didn't write this episode, I guess. But yeah, Kevin Smith is a beast. Uh, he's involved in a lot of DC stuff, um, including some Green Arrow comics and whatnot. Um, so it's pretty cool, and I see why there there are Young Justice vibes I get from this uh, series. It'll be interesting to see where this uh, continues on. Hello. What is that? Another action figure. Okay, you see, this character, his looks more like a toy from the 80s, whereas these two look like something you'd get from shows nowadays. Actually, maybe both, but their guys are a bit, they're, these guys, these Merc costumes are a bit more subtle and modern looking, whereas this guy is just, like, let's just chuck on all the colours and cool looking gear we possibly could on onto one character. I guess I'm still a bit confused by what this universe is. Seems like there are animals that can talk and people. Oh, is that Teela? Wow. Really went for that. I'm an independent woman haircut. Not likely. What? You gonna get another haircut? Listen for a face. Sorry. Sorry. Probably shouldn't have gone there. But like you know, and she is an independent woman. Let me say. Teela. Hey hey. The glove of what? Oh. Globula. Globula. I thought, I thought she said ovula. <clears throat> no love, no love. No life without wife. No life without wife. <laughs> to sell it to the highest bidder. You don't need magic to protect your glove. You just need better tech. Hey. I tracked it. I'm the brains. She's the brawn. Okay. Here, here. Here, here. Majestra, of course. Is she a character from the original series? Her voice sounds younger than she actually is. Am I wrong in assuming that? Is this another transformation magic? The Goblet of Fire! Harry Potter, did you to put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Ooh, Snake Eyes Mountain? Joe? Oh, what? Are you insane? Huh. No, I'm experienced. Meet us back experienced. Here we'll have your cup. Yeah, we're still alive. Okay, right. Skeletor's joint. Right? Am I right? Flashback? Are we in a flashback right now? I assume we are. Hey. That was convenient. Okay, I kind of like this. 
flashbacks between, you know, He-Man, He-Man's adventures. I don't know if they're anything like the cartoon. And, um, bringing her back to present time stuff. Oh, yes! They even go back to the days of the pun. Cool, I like that. I don't mind the flashbacks, because I like the retro vibe. I also don't know what's going on, so it, it does help. <laughs> Actually, it might confuse things more. So, was the old one? Did it have like tech like this, or is this just like a another a new twist on this uh, kind of reboot or whatever this is? By the way, is this a reboot or is this a sequel to um, the Masters of the Universe series? I will say the um, the mix of like tech retro kind of thing is um i like it i was gonna say it's like mandalorian but nah it's not really sci-fi i mean i guess you could make that comparison where you have this like yeah i swear this this tech stuff must be new to the series changing how the direction of things mixing together magic and all this Fantastical stuff. <laughs> Interesting. Very <laughs> cult, cultist slash religious ish vibes. <laughs> well, these are like paraphrased Bible verses almost. <laughs> Interesting. Motherboard, wow. It looked like he was literally, he's literally drinking the Matrix right now. Ah, uh, the, the uh, code stuff. That's what it looked like. Bruh, what is this? Okay, so, I'm thinking now, although I did think this was for kids, like with the puns and the simple jokes and stuff, Perhaps maybe it was just still drawing on from, you know, the old cartoon and whatnot, like with those, and just bringing it all together into this new Revelations show. I am assuming a lot for two episodes in. Okay, yeah, so this is interesting. It is definitely a new direction. He's li he literally answered my question in regards to... Okay, before they relied on magic, and now it's gonna be technology. That may be just this episode, but... I mean, you got that vibe a little bit in the other one with the... Terminator He-Man, or Cyborg He-Man, or whatever he was. Whiplash? Iron Man 2? What, what? <laughs> These, um... That robot looks like the, um, the Manhunters in, uh... In the DC comics. Any other DC nerds would know, will know what I'm talking about. What was that? You just do a hard reboot? Hard reset? Nice. Yeah, I don't know. This stuff's definitely a bit more than G-rated. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> just peg, peg the guy at the little... Oh! Oh, damn! Wow! I wish they'd. <laughs> I guess it'd be a bit too much if they'd shown that. I mean, they showed Skeletor getting stabbed. Why not show you know a bit of that, like at least a little splurt of blood? <laughs> you just have to make it a different color. So, did they get that goblet she was talking about? The old lady was talking about. Kind of wasn't paying attention. This actually is starting to remind me of Star Wars a little bit. Just <laughs> a little bit, not not heaps. All right, there's at least there's no like lightsabers or anything, or laser guns. <laughs> but uh, just just like the mix of like fantasy type creatures and with tech. Except again, it's different because it's the masters of the universe, kind of. Kind of lore, kind of world, their world. So 
So it's interesting, actually. Maclomaniacs. <laughs> yes, there it is. How long has it been since episode one? I do wonder. I guess we'll get clarity a bit later. I wouldn't mind like a Mortal Kombat series like this. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. What the frick, bro? Mortal Kombat is something I've definitely followed like quite well. So if they did a show like this, I know they've done like epic, R like R-rated movies. All right, boys. Pictures up. Which are like a lot of blood and gore. But if they did a series like this for Mortal Kombat, I'd be down. Like the game already, the the narrative in each of the games is pretty engaging, especially since uh, Mortal Kombat 9. I mean, they probably have before as well. It is like overly complicated. But I guess 9 was kind of like a reboot of things. Game-wise. The new movie that came out was alright. Nothing crazy, but again, I feel like they could do heaps with a show. Ah. The Falcon Lady. Or whatever her name is. Right, it is. Evil Lynn. I don't think I guessed that. Oh, it is transformation. I was right. Wait. I guess that was kind of obvious. The voice actor sounds familiar. Evil Lynn. Aha, good old cringe -er. Oh, there's always time for a fight, mate. <laughs> Is that the animator's way of saying we don't want to? Do <laughs> we can't be bothered to animate more fight scenes. We already had. We already fulfilled our quota this episode. Yeah, right. Going back to magic. Oh, it's Lena Headey for freaking Evil Lynn. No wonder she sounds familiar. <laughs> uh, far out. How could I not pick that? And then Elena's Kevin Smith's daughter. For Returnia! The fearful feline. That's good. I like that. Before time began, there was a cube. Before time began, there was the cube. <laughs> it's just so cliche. Like, they did the same thing with the Infinity Stones in Avengers. I want to do that, except we like. Time all began with this potato, and then just have a potato as a holographic image. I don't know why a potato came to mind, it was just in my head. It'd just be funny to have something ridiculous. Yes! What the heck? What happens when Teela gets freaking. Does she get buff? She's already buff, like how much more? Cool, cool. Oh, why was that was that foreshadowing? How the uh the subterranean one went around her mate or her friend? This is interesting. I kind of I kinda of wanted to get over the this uh denial phase. Like just come on. I I get her frustration, but like come on, Teela, let's let's get it on with. Let's go. The show. Okay, I was gonna say using this cat as the voice of reason was gonna be a bit, a bit like, <laughs> really? They went with that, but it's rather fitting because this cat is known for being afraid. So it's nice to to have it. It's like clever to have it. Um, have. Cringer be the one to tell Teela to be to or, like get over the fear of um, you know whatever whatever the past had done to her. Oh, what would Adam want? Wow. Thank you, Cringer. Hey, cute. Same. Oh. I feel like I'd get excited if I knew the series, but I don't. <laughs> I don't oh, damn it, I don't know who that is. Is that like Beastmaster or something? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going 
I should. I really should have watched the the old show. All right, yeah. Kevin Smith involved a lot. Um. Okay. So there you have it. Uh. I I I don't mind this show. I'm enjoying it. Um. That was only the second episode, and it, it's obviously slowed down a little bit. Um. We we had a, a pretty cool moment in that um, cult with uh, Triclops, whatever. <laughs> I think that was his name. Um, that was alright. Um, I guess that was the more exciting bit of the episode. But then we we've come. It was a bit of a filler, I will say that. But we come. It's like it's all building up towards going back to this main story where we we, we uh, retrieve these swords um, and see where that leads us in this uh, land of the dead. So I am keen for this third episode. Seems like a lot of this is adventure type stuff. Which um, I'm super down for. Uh, been a while since I've had a show like that. Um, that wasn't <laughs> that didn't involve superheroes. So yeah, the, uh, I am enjoying this show. Uh, it's actually you know kind of gearing me up to watch the uh, the OG one. So yeah. Anyways, thanks again for joining me. Getting keen for episode three. Uh, I might I may get a mate involved with these uh, reactions to join me on this journey. Uh, we'll see how we go. Um, again, this is just a test trial to see how the Rode NT1 sounds, but um, I appreciate you joining me. Uh, take it easy.